Hello traders, I am Rusov Popov. This is a quick start video for Expert Advisor Studio. In that video, we will generate an Expert Advisor and we will test it in MetaTrader. So let's start. In order to create an Expert Advisor, we will follow a plan. The plan is uh, of several steps. So the first point is to set account. We will set account in Expert Advisor Studio and the purpose is uh, our account in es to you to be the same as uh, our account in MetaTrader, so it will be reliable for trading. Let's start. First, set the account. We start the settings from Tools, Settings. Here, we uh, now we take a look on that part, the account settings, and the later video will have more deep uh, look in all tools and parts of the program. So here in account settings, we, we set the account currency. We can choose one of these. Let's be USD. Initial account amount. I'll select ten thousand dollars, but you may choose another value. And the leverage. Well, you see the leverage when you open an account in a broker. It can be a demo or real account. Uh, normally, we have a, a choice uh, what will be the leverage. So the best is to set the same leverage what you have in your broker. And uh, this is enough for this uh, first point of our plan. The next thing is to import data from MetaTrader. Let's see why. es 2 u comes with uh, pre-selected uh, data. We fit the application with uh, several major symbols, EURUSD, Great Britain Pound, USD. When you change the symbol here or the period, application automatically downloads the data from our server but uh, the problem is that these data are from a broker we choose and uh, this data probably will not be the same as uh, your broker uses because the different brokers has uh, different data providers they're called uh, liquidity providers and uh, the data uh, differ a little bit also the time zones are different and uh, the volume and the trading dynamics are also different so now, if you create an expert advisor for one data, it may not work very well on another broker. So to have the best results, we will import data from MetaTrader. This is our second step of our plan, import data from MetaTrader. Yes, Studio provides a, an easy way for importing data from MetaTrader. And we also go to Tools and Data Import. So when we create strategies, we import data, but we may do that only once per day, for example. So when we import data today, we can work all day or several days with these uh, data files. And uh, after several days, uh, we can uh, update the, the data from MetaTrader. How it works? We export a script. For example, if you use a MetaTrader 4, we export the first script. And this is for MetaTrader 5. Let's export that. I use a MetaTrader 4 for this tutorial. This is the script. I'll take the script and put on the desktop, but uh, you can put directly in MetaTrader. I'll show you how. This is the MetaTrader. And uh, unfortunately, we cannot take the script and drag, drag and drop here in the MetaTrader navigator in the script section. It doesn't work. But uh, we can go to File and open data folder and this is the location where MetaTrader stores uh, its files. Let's go to MKO4 folder and here scripts. This uh, script folder is empty now. Probably you have some demo scripts from MetaTrader but uh, it doesn't matter. I'll put the one we, we are going to use now. This is the EA Studio data export. This is the source file of the script. We will have more details uh, in the next videos. So we put the script in the folder, but this is not it is not visible here. So I will right click and refresh. Now when I do that, MetaTrader will load the script and it will compile it. And it will appear here. Let's uh, wait for a moment. Okay, here is to you data export. And that script exports data from a MetaTrader chart. In the next videos, uh, I'll 
show you more details about how to do that. But because this is a quick start, um, I'll just drag and drop the script here. I'll set uh, uh, what I said. I set here commission. I know that commission is uh, six dollars per lot for that broker. But uh, in next video, I'll show much more details. And I'll set spread of 10 points. And here maximum count of bars. Let's uh, keep it uh, 100,000 bars. This is the account uh, we we'll export from MetaTrader. When I click OK, the, the script uh, collects the data from MetaTrader and uh, exports the data to files. These files are in the same... Uh, we'll open the file from here. File, open data folder. MQL and MetaTrader stores its files in this files folder. Okay, these are the files we just exported. How to import these files in EA Studio? It's easy. We will take the files and you will drag and drop here in this field. I'll do that. I'll select the files, take the files from here. Uh, I'll go to the browser tap in the windows and carefully, I have, you see, I have to be over this uh, rectangle here in order to uh, drop the files successfully. And when I do that, mm, the files are imported. So these files are already in uh, EA Studio. Now, when I go to, for example, to the strategy page and editor, here I can select my broker. This is a GFD demo. GFD is the broker. Demo is a demo account. And uh, I'm using this broker uh, exactly for the purpose of this video. And here is the data we imported. I imported uh, uh, Euro, Euro USD data. And uh, these are the periods. So if I select H1, these are updated. The bars are updated. So I can go. Let's see our plan for what we have. Now we imported the data and uh, the next step is uh, to generate strategy. In order to generate strategy, I use tool named generator. It's not surprising, but the, the, here the interesting is uh, the technology we are using in Expert Advisor Studio. The back testing engine we have is here in this application is so fast that it is capable to generate strategies for us and these are not just random strategies not uh, random uh, trading rules and uh, uh, bits of uh, code no this uh, generator composes uh, strategies from predefined uh, blocks logical blocks and uh, uh, sets of parameters of indicators uh, with uh, within the predefined uh, ranges and with properly set a relation between them. So I'll start now, but uh, I made a mistake now because I forgot to select the data I imported. So mm, here, before starting a generator, we'll make some settings. Let's uh, select the GFD demo, this was, this was the broker, the data we just imported and let's keep it EURUSD and H1 but we will not uh, use uh, the data that are coming with your stu EA Studio, use the data we just imported and here in the strategy properties we set uh, let's entry lots, let's be 0 0.1 and I uh, will keep it uh, everything simple so uh, I will not use stop loss and take profit and uh, here we have other settings but uh, we will look at that settings in the next uh, episodes of this tutorial. So the most important here now for this quick start was to, to set the data source uh, symbol and period we, we imported and I will start the generator. Now the generator will create strategies for the data we imported. and. Uh, we see how many strategies it calculates, but uh, when it calculates strategies, it uh, has a internal validation of the strategies and not all uh, proceed further. When the generator creates strategies, they are collected in this uh, collection page. Uh, I can leave the generator working and I can go to the collection and we see the generator is still working and 
new strategies are coming. Um, I'll stop it now. So I have already 68 strategies collected. So we are already in the fourth step of our uh, plan. Choose a strategy from the collection. Let's see what we have generated so far. We have uh, 68 strategies and these strategies are arranged here. And we see the balance lines. This is the, the result of the back test of these uh, strategies. Mm, this is the historical test using all data uh, from the set data set we imported. And uh, here these are arranged by net balance. So the, the top strategies is one with the highest profit. Let's see what we have. Choose a strategy from the collection and review the strategy trading rules and stats. So these are the strategies and let's take that one. When I click on a strategy, it is open in the strategy page. And this strategy page is actually a section that has several internal pages. The first one is the editor. Here in the editor, we can see the trading rules or the indicators of the strategy. And if you click on one of them, you can see for details what is the rule and what are the mm, values of the indicator parameters. So this strategy has uh, two indicators for entry and one indicator for exit. And this strategy opens positions with 0.1 watt and it doesn't use stop loss and take profit. And this is the balance it makes from 10,000, it makes a 3,000 USD profit. Now, this is enough uh, for now. Uh, we we will export this uh, strategy as expert advisor. But uh, if I we export the strategy here from uh, this export uh, button and we can select uh, uh, the our target uh, platform MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5. But uh, uh, I have to log in in the platform in order to be able to export expert advisor. So I'll go to the login page and I'll log in to, to EA Studio, like that. So I can return to the strategy. This is the strategy editor, and now I can export the expert advisor. Okay, the expert advisor is exported. Now all we have to put uh, this expert advisor in MetaTrader. So we choose a strategy from choose strategy from the collection, review the strategy trading rules and stats. We do that in the editor. And now we exported expert advisor. The next thing is to test the expert advisor with MetaTrader. So how to do that? We will put this uh, expert in MetaTrader and I'll do something similar what we did with the script for importing data. Uh, I will take this and put on my desktop, but if you want, you can take that from here and put in the MetaTrader folder. And okay, let's show that. I go again to MetaTrader and here from file, open data folder, but this, uh, I go to MQL4, but this time I'll go to, to experts. This is the folder where we have to put our expert advisors in, in order to test them in MetaTrader. So now I can return to, to the browser and I'll have uh, I'll take this uh, expert advisor from here and it will drop to the experts folder like that. So the expert is here. I'll close that. And in MetaTrader, in the same way, I have to right click in the expert advisor here in this item and click refresh. Now MetaTrader will load the expert advisor's code and it will compile. Now this is the expert advisor. So uh, we can start trading directly this expert. This is uh, expert advisor is for Euro USD H1. And this is Euro USD H1. So I can drag and drop here for trading. We, uh, we, we can, uh, if you want, we can review and uh, we can change the the rules and uh, not the rules, but the indicator parameters. 
let's see our wife trading input and okay so i do that and now the the expert is running and i see here a smiley face if it doesn't uh, if you don't see this uh, smile, smiley icon, you probably you have to click this auto trading, but uh, I will see this uh, with more details later. So, mm, we started this on demo account, but I want to go for, uh, uh, I want to do something uh, before leave it uh, for trading. I want to test this expert advisor with the MetaTrader tester. MetaTrader tester is, we can start it from here, that icon like that and uh, we have to select the expert in this uh, drop down menu uh, because this is the only expert it, uh, it appears here so we select uh, select the symbol uh, where uh, when we want uh, to test uh, ES studio and uh, the period h1 also we can adjust the spread we put the spread in our script uh, the spread 10 of uh, when we exported data and we leave also here 10. The next thing is a visual mode is on. I'll increase the speed of testing and we'll click start. Okay, this test was very fast in MetaTrader. Let's see the results. And this is the result we received in MetaTrader. It, it must be very similar to one we received here. So we have about thirteen thousand uh, dollars uh, of our net balance at the end of the test, and here in MetaTrader, we have uh, we have the same. So it means that uh, the the strategy we generated here in S to U fully corresponds to the backtest of MetaTrader, and we have to do that uh, to be sure that everything is fine. So if that backtest finishes without errors and uh, if uh, the balance line has a good rising and smooth rising curve that means this expert advisor is uh, already for testing on a demo account so we already imported the expert put on the chart and we click out to trading and that is now uh, we have to uh, rate it trading for several weeks month for example, and if it uh, shows good results in the demo account, we can uh, transfer it to our real account and set it with minimum amount and to leave it trading. And uh, we can do that not for only one expert, but uh, with the help of Expert Advisor Studio, we can create tens of experts for different markets. Because uh, through the years, we found that this is uh, the best practice. We will not rely anymore to a single expert advisor. We will create five, six, uh, or ten expert advisors for each market. And I, I can start uh, several experts for EURUSD, Great Britain Pound, USD, USD, Swiss Franc, and uh, the other markets. So we will diversify the risk and we call that portfolio trading. Uh, we will cover all these topics in the next video with uh, much greater details. So thank you for watching, please uh, put a thumb up to this video and subscribe to our channel. Bye bye.